a right. goldfish. Now it needs a personality. Bright, pretty, good with other people, always moving, tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people, not so much. Yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> Weren't you listening? I said good with other people. Well, maybe not that part. I'm not good with I'll other people. I'll try to take the rest as a compliment. No, I none spy of us are. with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. Yeah, oh, a knife? Hmm. Uh... Damn, we just... Oh, I see. That ain't no knife. That's a big ass sword. Awesome. Mm, this one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. That's mine. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good one for you. Wish everyone would have seen all that sooner. Mm hmm. Okay, one more time. All right. I found a bird. Like mm. a real bird? No. Oh boy, that's a lot. Bird. Right there. That's a big ass bird. A bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset and see where it ends. You wish it was you, don't you? Sometimes, when it all feels so heavy down here, I can't help but wonder what it would be like to be weightless. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. I mean, isn't that the whole purpose of us being here, though? Talking? It's just I've watched people leave before. Family, friends. They never come back. But you did. And now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um. Shit. Oh, what? That sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. We're friends. Good ones. It's good to have a friend again. Someone I can really trust. Yeah, where the hell did that come from? So That's out of left like, field. Make friendship bracelets or something? I don't think it's official until we do. Ugh, I hate arts and crafts. Let's give each other dap and call it a day. Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? I guess when I... I, I, I guess... Yeah. When I said I'd flip Ruby, she got a, she got a bit of an idea. She wants some clam. I thought we was homies, boys. We like high five, share drinks and shit, you know. Take baths together, like what best friends do. You guys do that with your best friend, right? You mean you don't bathe with your homie? Come on now, you know you bathe with your homie. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. No. No. Come on, kiddo. Quit asking. Not yet. You gotta get in the double digits. Because I would swear about his stupid face. <laughs> Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. 
AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. Mm. I'm the one that kills him. Whatever. Okay. Really? Yes, I can't promise you how things are gonna go. But if it's possible, you get first shot at him. Wow. What, you thought I'd say no? Yeah. I'm grown up now. No, you Alright, AJ. Whatever, I'm dude. I'm close. You gotta hit the double digits, AJ. And even then. Clem, I see something. You gotta hit I'm eight more up. after that. Here, you look too. I see him. Are those whispers? That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. There's something out there with a horse. Might be the whispers. Probably not, because they weren't walking like walkers, they were sneaking. <laughs> They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. The log's ready. I double-checked it. Triple, even. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? Don't die. You've faced them in one, yeah. after all. Well, sort of. We're gonna make those assholes right Oh! Oh, damn. oh, I don't even know that guy. But damn! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! Yo, why are we dragging him? Have Mitch do it. Here they come. My bow. Go. Go. I'll be all right. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll live. Don't have much time. Go. Let's get this bow, boys. Clem of duty. Oh, I got a mash. Okay. All right, here we go. Here they come. It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. Fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Stealth killer. get the chance are you sure about that oh shit yeah they're sure about that where's our new recruits <laughs> they're not yours search the yard if Clementine moves shoot her uh oh We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? I'm trying to piss her off? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. 
We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Yeah! Why? Because you pick fights you can't win? No, because right. we don't give up like I'm bitches. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. How you know we can't win? You about to find out Get the hard out. way. If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life. How happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. Damn. And her little brother. She missed him the most. No, Shit. don't. What the f Stop. Ten. Where are they? Let me take you to them. No. I can't. I just want them back. Please. <laughs> back up. <laughs> no. Yeah, you tell her say no. Oh, oh shit, here we go. Make her regret it. Run, pony, you're free. You're free, pony. Yeah, we gotta get that bitch out that tree. Ah. Oh. Oh, 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 combat. Action, Jackson. Damn. God damn it. Shoot her, shoot her while she's stabbing Mitch. Mitch! No! Shoot her! Clint, what the fuck? Shoot her! Kill who you have to. Take the rest. We should have got him in his neck, but the leg will do. Yo, Mitch got done in. Follow them. Oh, oh boy, how many people are we gonna take out with this big ass log? Here we go. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh damn, but only got one guy. That sucks. I thought it was gonna come down sideways. Oops. I pressed left, but that's fine. Let's squish it with this couch. Popper. Oh shit. AJ, the door. Lock it. Then we just gonna leave everybody outside? Oh shit. Your friend Lily ain't around this time. So we'll have a nice little chat. You and me. Alright, let's go. Oh, here we go. Oh shit. Shoot him, AJ! Like Weak, small, afraid, and still alive. Well, let a lot of folks die to get you here. Uh, woo -wee. That hurt. Get him, AJ! Yeah, AJ! Get him! Dibs. Drop kick his ass out that window. Yeah. 
The Q! The Q! Nope! Oh shit! Didn't see that coming. Thought we was just gonna drop kick him out the window, but. That ain't good. Sucks for you, Lily. You shouldn't have picked a fight you couldn't win. Shit. This should be With your easy. dusty ass. Then do it already. Shoot me! You're betting I won't. I don't care. Just get it over with! Yeah, hurry up, man. I'm sick of you. Somebody shoot her with an arrow or something. D, what the hell? D! We gotta help Lewis! Oh, what the fuck? Stop it! I said stop! Stop! Oh my god! Oh! That was a big ass dog! No, he's pulling his hair. No! His drains are so beautiful. Oh, God. Oh, oops! That's what that he was grabbing. I thought he was grabbing someone else. I didn't even notice that it was her. I was just so enraged and full of full of rage. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Well, didn't we blow that up? How is that still even a thing? Alright, here we go. Oh shit. Sounds like there's one closer. I think it's just this one. Oh, there is one closer. Where the fuck did you come from? What? Okay. I could hear him, but I couldn't see him. Oh, I see him over there. He's coming to the left. Oh my lord. Yeah, yeah, oh, turn around. Jesus. The sensitivity is so thick, man. Hard. Oh god, here we go. Come on. There we go. Well, that sensitivity is really, really low. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, man. You gotta really drag that mouse. So, we only lost Mitch. And... Vi and who else? Two people got kidnapped. Vi and uh, uh, I don't know. Can't remember. I think Vi and the dude that got shot in the leg earlier. That I don't even know who he was. Clem, I, I'm sorry for trusting her.
That sucks though. Mitch is the only one that got fucked. God. Well, he did dive on Lily though. Sim, Omar, they're just gone, and Violet. I never oh, I guess you, they got her. those two also. Hmm. They got three people in there. There was so We're much going, going on. After them. How? We still don't know where they are or how many. Well, we've got someone who does. Yeah, that home dude with his broken leg is still there. Yep. Thought his eye would be missing. You're in trouble, buddy boy. That's upsetting. That's really upsetting. Little girl, little girl, don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep Oh, there's no... So we can't even see, like, the shit people chose. In the pines, you left Lewis feeling guilt-ridden. Good. Lewis confronted you when he said that he was sorry about your name. Lewis felt discouraged when you chose to spend time with Violet instead of him. Oh, and it's funny because we ended up saving him. Ten was a uh, <laughs> felt left ashamed. Ten was reassured when you said it was sweet of him to make drawings. Ten felt hopeful when sharing his belief that the Walker age will end someday. Lily was gratified that you remembered her, but Lily was also pleased that accepted her to help you stand. Unconvinced? Fuck off, Lily. Nobody like you anyway. James felt hopeful when you let him feed AJ the apple. James was attentive when you said you're originally from Georgia. James was cute. AJ was justified, like the TV show. AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed. He's satisfied after he got dibs on killing Abel. Ruby was shocked when you said AJ was right to kill Marlon. I guess so. Ruby was consoled when you exposed sympathy over finding the school nurse. Violet was kidnapped. Violet felt betrayed when you let the raiders kidnap her after spending time together. Oh, boo hoo. Oh yeah, Mitch got cheagled. Mitch was exacerbated when he told him to watch his mouth at the funeral. Mitch was irritated when he decided to help Ruby bury the walker. Yeah, well he's dead now, so who cares what Mitch has to say. Abel's outraged when you told Violet to shoot Lily. Abel's impressed when you t taunted Lily when shooting with shooting. He was impressed, but he's captured, so. Omar was kidnapped. I don't even know who the hell Omar was. He had no, like, nothing at all. Did he even... Who was Omar? Nobody? Rosie was depressed after you ignored her. When did I ignore Rosie? I didn't even, I guess I missed it. Willie was thrilled you chose his log to defend against the raiders. It seems kidnapped. Is it possible to save everybody? Probably not. No, it isn't possible because you have to choose. Hmm. That's sad. That's really upsetting. <sighs> That's really upsetting. I'm upset about that. I'm really enjoying this. Like, this is by far, coming soon my ass, this is by far, like, season, <sighs> we talked about this already. Season one was phenomenal. That was like one of my favorites of all time. It was an amazing game. Gave me all the feels. Gave me all the feels, the battle feels. It was, I love Lee. It was so good. It gave you that feeling that you cared about these characters. I loved Kenny. I loved Clem. I love Clem. And usually games don't usually do that with me. Usually I don't give a shit. Because I think of it like, it's just a video game. Who cares? But, like, you really cared what happened. Then episode 2 came, not episode, season 2 came. I didn't give a shit about anybody but Kenny. So that made that game really easy to make decisions and choices. And I also didn't like how just all of these people relied on this like 11 year old girl to do everything. That was kind of pitiful. Season 3. They throw a bunch of new characters at you instead of the characters that you've been playing as for the past, you know, three years or so. And throw in these characters that are low-key kind of lame. I mean, the main character, Javier, he was okay. 
he had like this whole beef with his brother and all that and then his brother's wife that I hated and then the little boy that I hated so it was like it was okay like the second season I didn't like it all the third season was just okay it was just meh it was whatever it was all right but this one's much better much better I care about AJ they wrote AJ so well like they did an amazing job with AJ. Usually when there's children involved in games like this, the children are annoying as hell. And like you just feel that you have to like protect them because they're children. And you, you know what I mean? Like you just have this like, oh, he's a little kid. But like AJ, it it's hard to explain. He's like a naive man. <laughs> like, you know, he's a boy. But that's how he feels. Like, like he's like he's he's still a child, but he acts like a man. And so he has childlike attributes to them, to him, but not like the annoying ones that make you just hate children in video games like this. But I'm just really upset that we're not going to see what happens. The we're not it's not going to it's not coming. It's not going to finish. They're not going to finish it. As we as I explained at the beginning, Telltale is shutting down shop and uh, they screwed over a lot of their employees. And when they announced that they have third-party investors that are willing to see this go through finishing episode three and four, um, I thought that they would use the investors' money to bring these people that they screwed over in their jobs back to finish. Because if they just hire a whole nother team to finish episodes three and four, it, it won't be the same. It won't be the same at all. It won't be the same game. Who knows? What if, what if these new people come by and they write it in the garbage? And then episode three and four is just shit and everything goes awful. And not only is it just for a story aspect, but like these people that didn't get in severance pay and just got. They just they got fucked is probably the best way you can do it. And that's how I think that they should if they're going to continue this, if they accept money from a third party person, company publisher whatever to get these last two episodes out they need to pay those people that worked on this they need to get them back and they need to pay them to finish this because it won't be the same if someone else did it i don't even know if someone else does it well i guess we'll play it and it's probably going to be ass who knows it will be definitely different <sighs> so it's like either way we're screwed the only way that this could end well is if they bring them back and they pay them and they do it they give them what they owe them, and they finish the job. Because the least that I would expect, if they're not going to finish this, and we're asked out of episode 3 and 4, the least they could do is, like, release... Like, someone mentioned, like, they should do a comic book that's pretty much wraps up everything. The thing about a comic book is that costs money that they don't have. They have to produce this comic book. They have to pay an artist. They have to... You know what I mean? The least that they could do that would require no money is to put the script online and let us read what would have happened in episode three and four. And then we can see what happens to these beloved characters. Well, the two beloved characters, everybody's gone. Hmm. I mean, that's the only idea that I had. That, you know what I mean? Like, oh, if, if it never gets finished, at least we know what happened. That sucks. Uh, it's really disappointing. I really like it. It's really good. Especially with, like I said, with season two and three being, season two being god awful in my opinion. And then season three being better, but still pretty bad because the bar was pretty, pretty low. But I actually like the characters in this game. Mitch was the only one that like just rubbed me the wrong way because he was kind of an a-hole, but I was still like disappointed when he got when he got done in. I was like, oh no, even though like he was because he was starting to warm up to you. They they made the characters like you fought and there were times where you you know, where you didn't like each other, but they grew on you, if that makes any sense. And it's only been two episodes. We've probably spent like four hours with these characters maybe no maybe a little less but I mean each playthrough is about two hours and 20 minutes but like I really like the characters except for that one guy that I didn't even know he was the one that got shot in the knee I don't know who the hell that guy was but like they really like 
they did a good job making you care about these kids to some extent there may be a couple that you don't like but you want them all to succeed you want them all to live unlike episode I mean season 2 where I wish everybody just went somewhere and fucked off or in episode I keep saying episode in season 3 when I just wanted I don't know I didn't really like anybody there either hmm I just wanted Clem to be safe in that one I didn't really care for the little boy or the woman I ended up just disappearing at the end of the game anyway that was pretty shitty she's just gone there's like, oh, we didn't, we can't find her, put her picture up on the lost and found board, she's gone. And, I don't know. That was stupid. Walking Dead Season 3 was pretty, I don't know, now that, like, I think about it, I don't remember much of that game, but, like, the parts I do remember are pretty stupid. Nowhere near as stupid as the shit that happens in 2, though. That's, that's, like, God. <sighs> well, it's 1.30 in the morning. My, my puppy dog is sleeping over, Sako. He's in the back. Um, I made sure he was asleep before I came over and recorded. I need to go make sure he's still asleep and not fussing. He's, I don't know. He does really good. And, like, if he's, if it's just, I left the TV on for him in the back. He was sleeping. If he does wake up, he probably just smack his lips and go back to sleep or something. I don't know. I'm going to go check up on him. I'm really hungry for some reason. So I'm probably going to eat like a bowl of cereal, take a bath, call it a night, render out some of this stuff to put up for you guys tomorrow, which by the time you guys see this will probably be like next week. Um, I'm just super disappointed. I'm really disappointed. Not with, I'm disappointed with the whole situation of what's going on. It's really disappointing. I thought that if when they were going out, at least they were going to finish this and then just be done. And then I could just be disappointed about the Wolf Among Us season two. But now... It's just a whole new age of disappointment. This is the Grammys of disappointment. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed episode two, <sighs> The Walking Dead. And with that, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, a great day, a beautiful afternoon, and an awesome night. If it is your birthday, you, you sexy bastard, happy birthday to you. And if it is your birthday, you gorgeous gal, happy birthday to you too. And I'll see you guys, I, I probably won't see you guys again on Walking Dead. Yeah. Alright. Good night.